you would be surprised how much hidden performance your PC is holding back until you unlock it. In this video, I'm going to show you a powerful set of Windows registry tweaks that I personally tested to squeeze out extra FPS and make your games run smoother, no matter which PC you have. If you're tired of lag spikes, stutters, or wasted performance, this is your guide to fixing that for good. Let's dive in and start unlocking real performance. Frustrated with the lag and harping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Before we dive into applying these tweaks one by one, let me make it easier for you. You can simply download my ready-to-use registry optimization pack directly from my official website. And don't worry, it's 100% safe. Feel free to scan it with any antivirus software or use an online scanner if you'd like extra peace of mind. Simply head over to my official website, uptopacks.com. Once you're there, go to the FPS Boost section. You'll quickly recognize the post by the same title and thumbnail used for this video so it's easy to locate. Scroll down a little and you'll find a direct download button. After downloading, open the folder and head into the registry section. From there, just double click each file to instantly apply the corresponding optimization. No need to tweak anything manually. Need to undo a change later? The revert folder has reset files included. Just double click those the same way to bring things back to default. I've also added a text file containing all the registry paths and commands for easy copy paste access. So you can jump straight to any setting without searching around. So go ahead and grab the pack now. It'll save you a ton of time and effort. All right, everyone, it's time to manually apply the registry modifications. Start by clicking on the search icon, type in registry editor, and make sure to launch it with administrator rights for full access. Now let's begin with our first registry adjustment, which involves turning off power throttling. By default, Windows may limit your CPU's capabilities to save battery life, especially on laptops. However, even desktop users can experience slowdowns depending on their active power profile. This limitation can negatively affect gaming by holding back both CPU and GPU performance. If your CPU is being restricted while the GPU runs at full potential, it can create an imbalance, causing performance drops or in-game stuttering. To avoid this, we'll manually disable power throttling using the registry editor. Follow these steps carefully. Copy the first registry path, paste it into the address bar of Registry Editor, and hit Enter. Inside the Power Throttling folder, look for an entry called Power Throttling Off in the right-hand section. If it exists, double-click it and change the value to 1. If you don't see this entry, simply right-click inside the Power Throttling section, select New DWORD 32-bit value, and name it Power Throttling Off. off. After creating it, double-click and set the value to 1. Moving on, let's disable network throttling. Windows includes a feature that can restrict network speed during specific types of activity, mostly for non-streaming data. However, this can sometimes interfere with online gaming by triggering unnecessary lag or increasing ping, especially if your connection isn't being used efficiently. Disabling this option ensures smoother online performance. Copy the next registry path, paste it into the address bar, and press Enter. Once you're there, locate the Network Throttling Index key on the right side. Double-click it and input 8 times F characters as the new value. In case this causes any interruptions with other programs consuming bandwidth in the background, you can always revert the setting to its default by changing the value back to 10. Now, it's time to fine-tune TCP for better gaming performance. TCP, or Transmission Control Protocol, is what ensures stable data exchange over the network. By modifying a few registry values, we can reduce packet delays, improve responsiveness, and create a faster, more reliable gaming experience overall. Go ahead and copy the next path, paste it into the registry editor's address bar, and press enter to navigate. On the right-hand side, you'll see several entries ready for adjustment to maximize TCP performance. Default TTL, open this entry and set its value to 64, then press OK. Global max TCP per window size, change its value to 65535 and hit OK. TCP1323 opts, set this one to 1 and save the changes. TCP max dupax, modify it by entering the number 2, then press OK. TCP timed, wait delay, switch to decimal format and input 30 as the value, then click OK. 
These changes help boost how your system handles online traffic, resulting in lower latency and a more fluid multiplayer gaming experience. Let's move forward and turn off CPU core parking. Windows has a built-in feature that disables some CPU cores when the system isn't heavily loaded, mainly to reduce power consumption and keep temperatures lower. While helpful for saving energy, this can limit your CPU's performance in gaming scenarios. Disabling core parking ensures all CPU cores stay active, giving your system better multitasking power and smoother in-game performance. Copy the next registry path, paste it into the address bar and hit enter. Once inside, look for the entry labeled Attributes on the right, double-click it and change its value to zero. Doing this unlocks the hidden processor settings and ensures all cores remain engaged, helping your CPU deliver full performance when it matters most. Next, let's configure your system to give top priority to games. By adjusting these settings, we tell Windows to allocate more processing and graphics power to your games, reducing input lag and limiting the impact of background apps. This adjustment can greatly improve consistency and reduce frame drops. Copy the next path and paste it into the registry editor, then press enter. You'll now edit several values in the right panel for optimized resource management. Affinity, enter F as the value, set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. Background only, change this to false and save. GPU priority, input E, choose hexadecimal as the base, then hit OK. Priority, set this to 6 and confirm with OK. Scheduling category, update this to high. SFIO, priority. Also set this to high and click OK. These adjustments help your system concentrate power and focus on gaming tasks, ensuring fewer slowdowns and a more fluid gaming experience overall. Now, reduce maximum pre-rendered frames. For systems with a capable CPU, limiting the number of frames that are pre-rendered can significantly reduce input delay. This tweak helps deliver a quicker response from your keyboard or mouse to the screen, making gameplay smoother and more immediate. Copy the next registry path, paste it into the address bar of registry editor and press enter. Next, find the max pre-rendered frames entry on the right side. Double click it and change its value to one. This setting allows only one frame to be rendered in advance, resulting in faster reaction times during gameplay. Next, boost system responsiveness. By default, Windows holds back 20% of your CPU's power for background operations, which might limit performance during gaming. Adjusting this setting allows your system to prioritize active tasks like running games, leading to better responsiveness and overall smoother gameplay. Copy the next registry path, paste it into the registry editor's address bar and press enter. Once you're there, locate the system responsiveness key. Switch the input mode to decimal and set the value to 10. With this change, more processing power is dedicated to your games, improving speed and efficiency without sacrificing overall system reliability. Next, turn off Fast Startup. Fast Startup is designed to make Windows boot faster by skipping the full shutdown process. Instead of turning off completely, it logs off the user and puts the system into a semi-hibernated state. Although it reduces boot time, this feature can sometimes lead to stability or performance issues, particularly when gaming. Copy the next provided registry path, paste it into the address bar in registry editor and press enter. Next, locate the hyperboot enabled entry on the right panel. Double click it and change the value to one, then hit OK. By applying this tweak, you ensure your PC shuts down completely each time, which can help avoid glitches or sluggish behavior caused by partial shutdowns. Now, raise CPU priority for gaming. Although there are various methods to influence how your CPU handles tasks, modifying the Win32 priority. Separation registry entry offers a more direct way to fine tune how processing power is distributed. This tweak makes sure your game receives top priority when running, enhancing responsiveness and reducing delay. Copy the next registry path, paste it into the address bar of registry editor and press enter. Look for the Win32 priority separation entry in the right hand panel. Double click it and input 26 as the value. This setting shifts more CPU focus to active applications, helping your games run with better speed and lower input lag. Hit OK to apply the tweak and enjoy improved game performance right away. Next, give the gaming network priority. Windows typically keeps a portion of your internet bandwidth 
reserved for system functions and background services. On slower or shared connections, this can result in delays or increased ping during online gameplay, as system traffic might take precedence over your games. To make sure your games always have top priority on the network, here's what you need to do. Copy the last registry path, paste it into the registry editor's address bar, and press enter. Once inside, find the non-best effort limit entry, double click it, and change the value to zero. This adjustment removes the default bandwidth reservation, allowing your games to use the full network potential for smoother and more consistent online performance. So guys, that's it for now. Drop a like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.